welcome dear all students this is the simplest and easiest way of teaching learning process in our most popular most famous youtube channel physics make it simple by dr rajendra kobarne from pvp junior college pravaranagar loni we are discussing the chapter oscillations and as long as oscillations is concerned this is a lecture number 5 and most important topic that today we are going to discuss is reference circle method so in this article we have to learn a answer of question that that question i have already written on the board that question is what see here show that projection of ucm along any diameter is shm what is the meaning of this question particle is performing uniform circular motion along the circumference of a circle but by choosing one of the diameter that i have chose this y axis diameter then projection of all particles on the circumference of a circle performs shm how it is see here so consider a particle which is moving at point p q r s t u v w along the circumference of a circle in anti clockwise direction so i will write a first sentence on the board consider a particle which is at points p q r s t u v w like this particle is circulating along the circumference of a circle in anti clockwise direction i will write here so this is the theoretical explanation so i will write here consider a particle consider a particle which is at p q r s t u v w along the circumference of a circle along the circumference of a circle moving in anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction see here so this is our first sentence particle is circulating along the circumference of a circle which is at point p q r s t u v w anti clockwise direction then see here the projection of p is p dash projection of q is q dash projection of r is r dash s is s dash t is t dash u is u dash v is v dash w is w dash these are the projections along a diameter y axis so projection of p is p dash when p moves to q then projection becomes q dash projection moves upward when q moves to r projection is projection moves downward that is q dash to r dash when r to s the projection is r dash to s dash when s to s s to t projection is in the downward direction s dash s dash to t dash when t to u projection is t dash to u dash when u to v projection is again u dash to v v dash in upward direction when v to w projection moves in upward direction like this that means the particle is circulating along the circumference of a circle and projection of that particle at every point sometime moves in downward direction sometimes moves in upward direction that means 
projection of the particle which is circulating along the circumference of a circle has a simple harmonic motion along the y axis up and down up and down continuously when the particle is circulating along the circumference of a circle that means what here it clearly indicates that theoretically that projection of uniform circular motion along any diameter i have choose a diameter y axis along any diameter perform simple harmonic motion that part the projection is moving in upward direction as well as downward direction upward direction as well as downward direction and simultaneously the particle is moving along the circumference of a circle this clearly indicates that theoretically projection of ucm along any diameter we have choose the diameter on y axis perform simple harmonic motion so how we can write as a note as long as note is consider as long as examination point of view let us see see here so consider a particle which is at p q r s t u v w p q r s t u v w p q r s t u v w particle is continuously moving along the circumference of a circle moving in anti clockwise direction its projections are its projections are its projections are what what is the projection of p p dash q dash r dash s dash t dash u dash v dash w dash along the along the the projections are where the projections are along the diameter diameter of the circle and these projections these projections along any diameter continuously continuously moving up and down up and down these projections along any diameter continuously moving up and down performs performs what performs shm and and hence the statement hence the statement hence the statement what is the statement hence the statement that projection of ucm along any diameter perform simple harmonic motion like this like this particle is moving like this the particle is having uniform circular motion and during uniform circular motion along the circumference of the circle projection of particle at every positions that we have taken an example p dash q dash p dash q dash r dash s dash t dash t dash u dash then again v dash w dash then again p dash q dash r dash s dash that means the projections are moving up and down continuously hence the statement the statement is projection of ucm along any diameter performs simple harmonic motion and so i have given a title like this theoretical explanation this is theoretical explanation then this explanation we verify by making use of equation of displacement equation of velocity equation of acceleration and that equation of displacement velocity acceleration we get it is a equations of simple harmonic motion how it is that we have to see so i have taken this diagram and i have chosen a particular po point which is at a reference angle phi from x axis at time t is equal to 0 so i will write here let 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 
PO is let particle is we will write like this let particle is at PO at time t is equal to 0 making reference angle reference angle reference angle how much reference angle phi with the with the x axis and suppose this particle is moving from po to p at time t is equal to t i will write here let particle moves moves from from where to where from PO to P making angle making angle making angle how much making angle omega t making angle omega t at time t so total angle from x axis is omega t plus phi then then total angle total angle from x from x axis from x axis is omega t plus phi whether you have understood up to this total angle when the particle is, a, is at point p the total angle produced is omega t plus phi and let vector r is a position vector when the particle is at point p i will write here r dash is a position vector position vector when particle is at point p then what we will do after this we will take a projection of p particle projection of a particle which is at point p like this projection of a particle which is at point p is p dash along the y axis which is at a distance y from the mean position this is a mean position so we will write here number 4 late projection let projection of a particle at point p is what is p dash which is which is at a distance which is at a distance y from mean position mean a position mean position o this y is a displacement of a projection displacement of a projection of a particle p like this and that projection of a particle is a particle at point p is p dash and displacement is measured always from mean position displacement is measured always from mean position that we know performing shm so here this is a displacement and then now we have to calculate the equation of displacement when the projection is i have drawn a perpendicular line to y axis then if this complete angle is omega t plus phi then by geometry this angle becomes omega t plus phi of course if this angle is omega t plus phi then by geometry this angle also omega t plus phi so c sine of omega t plus phi what we get sine of omega t plus phi from the triangle from the triangle from the triangle which is triangle o p dash p o p dash p sine of omega t plus phi is equal to front side what is front side y upon diagonal diagonal is r so magnitude of position vector r vector is r so we can write y upon r and so that we get what 
y is equal to r sin omega t plus phi y is equal to r sin omega t plus phi while deriving the equation of displacement of shm we get x is equal to capital a sin of omega t plus phi but here the displacement of the particle is on y axis so instead of getting x we get y so y is equal to small r sin omega t plus phi omega t plus phi here small r is nothing but the amplitude of oscillation so this is the equation of this is the equation of displacement of shm this equation is similar to the displacement of shm because displacement of shm along x axis that we know x is equal to capital a sin of omega t plus phi displacement contains sin function and this is also the similar equation we got y is equal to r sin omega t plus phi this is equation 1 this is the equation of this is the equation okay we will write later on this is the equation of displacement of shm take a screenshot then we'll proceed further take a screenshot okay then we'll proceed further after deriving displacement of shm now we have to derive what is the equation of velocity of shm so velocity is nothing but the time rate of change of displacement so we can take derivative of this equation with respect to time so we will write here 1 2 3 4 5 6 velocity velocity is time rate of change of rate of change of displacement with respect to time okay time rate of change of displacement so take a derivative of equation 1 take take derivative derivative of equation 1 with respect to time then we get what we get what dy by dt and this dy by dt is nothing but the velocity which is equal to what which is equal to small r is constant derivative of sin of omega t plus phi we get what omega t sorry derivative of sin omega t plus phi is cos of cos of omega t plus phi and again derivative of omega t plus phi with respect to t is omega so this is the formula of velocity and this is the similar equation of velocity of shm this is equation 2 so we get this is the velocity this is the formula of velocity of equation velocity of sorry this is the formula of velocity of shm then calculate acceleration what is the formula of acceleration acceleration is nothing but the time rate of change of velocity so again take a derivative of this we get acceleration so we will write here number 7 acceleration is the time time what rate of change of time rate of change of velocity so take take derivative take derivative of equation 2 with respect to time we get what take derivative of this we get what acceleration derivative of this with respect to time we get what d2y by dt square is equal to we get acceleration the r omega is constant r omega is constant what is the derivative of what is the derivative of sin of omega t plus phi is minus sin minus sin minus sin omega t plus phi and again derivative of omega t plus phi is omega so this is the formula r omega into bracket minus omega sin of omega t plus phi this is the derivative of 
this r omega cos of omega t plus pi then what we get now see here we get what acceleration acceleration a is equal to what we get minus omega square into bracket we get what r sin of omega t plus phi this r sin omega t plus phi is nothing but y from equation 1 from equation 1 using equation 1 we get what we get what is the value of r sin omega t plus phi r sin omega t plus phi is equal to y so we get acceleration acceleration a is equal to minus omega square y this is equation 3 minus omega square y this is the acceleration that means negative sign indicates that acceleration and displacement are oppositely directed acceleration and displacement are oppositely direct directed while learning the formula of acceleration we get the formula of acceleration is a is equal to minus omega square x because the particle is oscillating along x axis here the particle is oscillating along y axis no particle projection of the particle that is important projection of the particle performing ucm is oscillating along y axis so here displacement is moving from mean position to extreme position and acceleration is acting towards the mean position see here this is the most important point dear student displacement is measured from the mean position to extreme position while acceleration is directed from extreme to mean position that is the meaning of negative sign and this is the definition of simple harmonic motion so we will write remark what is remark then remark we got is what is remark part one part two and this is part three part three we will write part three as a remark 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 what is remark what remark we get from the theoretical explanation that means from part one from the theoretical explanation into bracket part one and from the equations of displacement velocity and acceleration into bracket part two it clearly indicates that projection of ucm along any diameter that i have taken a diameter on y axis perform simple harmonic motion i will write remark what is remark what is remark from theoretical explanation theoretical explanation from theoretical explanation into bracket part 1 and equations obtain equations of not obtain we will write like this equations of displacement velocity and acceleration obtain into bracket part 2 from theoretical explanation and equations of displacement velocity and acceleration obtain into bracket part 2 suggest that suggest that projection projection of ucm along along any diameter performs performs what simple harmonic motion in this way theoretically and by deriving the equations of displacement velocity and acceleration we can suggest we can prove that projections of ucm along any diameter performs shm and this is nothing but the reference circle method we feel this article is so much difficult but 
I made this article very simple because name of our channel is physics make it simple. So be continue, be alert, be remain always in a study mode in our channel. After taking, before taking the next article, we will stop here. Goodbye.